Now, this question says that Ben says that 150 is in the sequence. Is Ben right? You must explain your answer. Now, let's go to the A part first. Remember, we're just given five terms of an arithmetic sequence and we're asked to find the nth term, which we got as 6n minus 3, okay? That's the nth term. Now, we're now told that Ben says that 150 is in the sequence, okay? It's Ben right, then you must explain your answer. Now, how do we do this first? You, you, you remember what N is? N is like the first the first number or the second number or the third number or the fourth number or the fifth number. N signifies the position of the numbers, okay? Now, if you put N as 1 here, you have 6 minus 3, that's 3, and that's the first term. Remember that. Now, we're now told that if you keep putting different values here, can you get 150? This is like um, an explanation of this question. Is there a particular time when you have 150 as part of this arithmetic sequence? Now we're going to use a little bit of trial and error to get um, different numbers till we get the one that is very close to um, 150 or the one that will give us 150. Okay. From here, we already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We already have the 5th term and it's 27. So how about we try the 10th term and see what it's going to give us. So for the 10th term, we'll have 6 into 10 minus 3. That's 60 minus 3, which is going to give you 57. But that's still too far from 150. So let's try the 20th term. You have the 20th term to be 6 into 20 minus 3. That is 120 minus 3. That will give us 117. Okay? You have your 117. So, it's still a bit far from 150. So, let's try 25. Okay? So, you have 25th term. 6 into 25 minus 3. And that is going to give you... 147 132 rather sorry about the error now it's a little bit close to 150 so let's just keep trying again so you have um, 27 term that will be 6 times 27 minus 3 so let's have that 27 by 6. 6 times 2 is 6 times 7 is 42. 2 carry 4. This times 2 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 162. You have 162. Okay, that is that's a bit bigger than 150. Okay, so let's try the 26th term. 26th term. You have 6 by 26 minus 3. So you have 26 by 6, 6 times 6, 36, 6 carry 3, 6 times 2, 12, 13, 14, 15, 156, 156 minus 3 is, okay, actually this is 162 minus 3, and that will be 159, sorry about the error. Yeah, so we have 156 minus 3, and it's going to give us 153. Let's do in between 26 and 27. What could actually, you can't actually get 150 as an exact int, uh, integer, in, one of the integer numbers. Okay, you can't just get 150. So from here, it's very obvious that. You can't get 150. Another way you could also do this is actually studying these numbers in the progression, okay? Now, this is an odd number, odd number, odd number, odd number, odd number. Now, you can also prove your point by still solving maybe two or three more to find out that they are odd numbers. And then you just say, okay, 150 is an even number. So, how come you, you just have one even number in a stream of other odd numbers? It's just really not possible. So... We just say that our reason is because um, it's not. First of all, you can just solve this and say, okay, it's not in the, it's not in this progression or is an even number, so it can't be in a progression of odd numbers. So, 
any of them. You can just choose 150 is an even number and but all the numbers in the sequence are odd. So therefore Ben is wrong. So Ben is wrong, okay? So it's either you do it this way, it's either you write it this way. This is actually faster than going through all this. Yeah, it's either you write it this way or you also check from here.